Hi guys, Carrie Millspaw here, PR consultant and public speaking agent. And I'm here speaking on behalf of all speakers, I believe, not just the ones I represent, that are in the key, paid keynote industry. Now, what I see on a day-to-day -day basis is so many opportunities to do public speaking, workshops, training, education, entertainment. A lot of the time is entertainment as well. And most of the time, you are expecting as the event coordinator for the speaker to either just accept a discount or come on their own terms. In other words, they pay for their own travel and expenses, maybe even have to pay for an event ticket or get a discount somewhere in there, but they don't get paid for their services. Now, I want us to just back up and take a bigger picture at this and why I'm coming at you today because I really want to boycott free speaking. Now, there's a time and place where you volunteer to speak at a fundraiser, church, wherever. I do it all the time. Something local, maybe it's um, a, a networking event that I belong to or I'm a member of. I do it as a favor to a friend. That is not what I'm referring to today. I'm also not referring to the free speaking events that some speakers do just to basically cut their teeth in the speaking industry. They want to get a feel if this is really what they want to do and they need practice. I'm talking about those massive events that have very large, high paying sponsors that are paying a lot of money for this event to happen. And then I take a look even broader and notice they're charging $1,500 and higher for each seat or for each, for each ticket, basically for attendees. And some, some are obviously $300, but $1,500 is kind of high. I see this often. And then I looked at all that budget, whatever it is, I don't know where their money's going because they're collecting a ton of money in, at, on attendees and they've got this money over here for the sponsors. So you've got a budget, you've got a speaking budget. And when they come back to me and say, the speaker has to you know, travel at their own expense, um, they can get a discount to the event, but we don't pay our speakers. My heart just hurts. It hurts, it doesn't make sense. Now, if you take a bigger picture look, and this isn't just personal rejection. This isn't just, oh, they denied my speaker or my speaker really wanted to speak there and I can't believe it's free and I have to come back to them and say, I'm sorry, you know, it's not a paid event. They, it's charity basically at the, that point. I, it's more than that. It doesn't make business sense to me. And this is my biggest question. If you, don't have any speakers, how well is your event gonna go? Aren't they the main attraction? Isn't that why people buy a ticket? Because they wanna know who's speaking and what content they're teaching. If there's not a, you know, sometimes they put all their money into the headliner, which sometimes is a celebrity or an actor or somebody from Shark Tank. And then every other speaker under them is free because they just should be honored and blessed to share the stage with this brilliant person. And that's sarcasm, by the way. So. I don't quite understand that because I know they're getting, and I've worked in events for over a decade. I know they're getting money from sponsors, big names, names that are from Fortune 500 companies. And then I know how much they're charging per ticket. And I know that they sell out, you know, one, 2,000, 3,000 people a year or more, but there's no budget for your speakers. I scratch my head, guys. I don't quite get it. I'm, I'm not, I think somehow... This is that instance where, you know, the cart before the horse kind of saying like, don't, aren't you getting ahead of yourself? Because if the speakers choose to boycott free speaking, which is what I'm suggesting, you don't have an event. What happens when those sponsors and attendees show up and there's no one to take the stage because they've decided that their value is a little more important than free. And that just goes back to anything in the service-based industry. I'm going to speak up for everybody today. And I just hope to spread a new awareness around there and create some positive change for everybody in this industry. Whether it's entertainment, singing, whether it's speaking, whatever it is. Now, let me just kind of put you a day in the life of a public speaker because I've been asked to speak many times. At times, you have to clear your calendar. We're talking three to four days. You're out of the office. You're out of commission, literally because you're traveling, you're stuck in an airport. Sometimes it's multiple flights to get to where you need to go. You're out of your office if you're a business owner like me and you're away from your daughter if you're a mom like me or family members, whatever that looks like. You're away from your business, so you're not making any cash flow coming in for those days that you're gone or everything's getting pushed back, which means you're gonna be overwhelmed when you get home and you're missing your kids or your husband or 
spouse, partner, whatever that looks like for you if they can't come along with you. So we're picking a speaker up out of their life and placing them somewhere else. That's just step one. Step two is they have done this talk so many times in their head. They're preparing it. They're preparing slides. They're spending hours and hours on content research so that their talk is perfect for your audience. Because no matter how many times you do a talk, you still cater it to the audience every single time. You're still going to tweak it. They're going through it. They're timing themselves. That in itself is all before they even get to the airport. Lots of energy. Lots of energy. Then there's all the energy once they get to the event. Like my speakers, most I can speak for most, we want our quiet time before we talk or, or take the stage. We kind of stay secluded in our hotel room, maybe do a few things to just kind of unwind and get our zen, feel grounded so we can, again, give you the best experience, the best value to your audience. Then there's the talk itself. Sure, it might be an hour, might be two hours, might be a three-hour workshop. It doesn't matter. That is a high for most speakers. We love to give. That's what we're wired for. But that's the only sweet spot. It's all the stuff before and after that requires and deserves compensation. And I know I'm speaking for everybody here. Then there's the after event and all the fun. Maybe you're supposed to require to be at one of the dinners or an award banquet, or you've also offered to do book signings and there's a lot of energy poured out, poured out, constant energy poured out. How are you going to give back to that speaker who's just consistently given of themselves? They get on the plane, they go home, they're exhausted. They're going to take another day or two just to recuperate and then get back into their business and making money again. Now, do you see how this is more than deserving of a, a, a healthy paycheck? Do you not see where these speakers deserve to be paid for their, not just their worth, their value, but their energy, love, adoration? When you speak, you are giving a piece of yourself every single time. I can, I'm sure pastors would agree with that. Now, even pastors get paid, okay? I'm a pastor's kid. They have to. I mean, what do you expect? Them to just live on the street? Somebody's got to pay the overhead. So I just want the event coordinators or those that are managing events to really put their speakers above everything else. Because if you don't pay your speakers, you're not going to have a sponsor that gives a crap about your event, and you're not going to have anybody that's going to sign up or pay a ticket to attend. you got to have the main attraction. Treat them well. They will treat you even better. I promise you. Big hugs, big love. This is just an open conversation to shift and change the speaking industry so that our speakers don't give up altogether because eventually there won't be any good quality value to get out there if you keep shortchanging them. Okay. Big hugs guys. See you on the big stages.